to episode 7 of Fantasy Warfare 2.0 here on Reasonable Wrestling Fans. Is it 6? I don't know. I think we just said yes. 6. Yes, yes. It's episode 6 because we have, we're have we at an interesting point here. Uh, me and Kevin Hawker both have two victories apiece. So this matchup in particular will either decide a third victory for Kevin Hawk and a championship win... Or we will be tying it up with two victories apiece if Kevin, if Kevin Hawk loses to Thomas Wolf yeah. today. And then next week, we'll figure out something. Yeah, we'll do some sort of triple threat variation in order to uh, uh, crown our first champion. Uh, but, so, for Shut today's, up, for today's uh, episode, we have ourselves a cage match. Yeah, as you can see, these two are locked in. There's no getting out. Yes. Uh, and uh, Thomas Wolf won, won, uh, won the chance to Kevin go first, first, but allowed Kevin Hawk to choose first. So Kevin Hawk, who is our first combatant in today's cage match? I picked Pentagon Junior. And Thomas Wolf, who is Pentagon Junior's opponent? The wrestling machine, Kurt Angle. All right, and we are we're we're being specific. This is Kurt Angle prior to TNA. So yeah. TNA, his TNA career does not. Uh, count in this debate, uh, but we are doing uh, today's Pentagon Jr., uh, all the things that we've seen on Lucha Underground, and any other information that was available online. So, as we did last and time... Imaginations. Yes. As we did last time, this is going to be a point-counterpoint. You'll have, a, you'll have a chance for rebuttals, uh, and you'll have time limits. So, mm. since you had the option of going first, would you like to do your opening statement first, or would you like to uh, give that to um, Kevin Hawk? I'll give that to Kevin Hawk. All right, Kevin Hawk, your opening statement. you got to start convincing me on Pentagon Jr. You have 45 seconds. Ooh, I like it. And go. Right off the bat, I'm just going to say, I think Pentagon Jr. would be highly favored in a cage match because of his aggression and his violence. I mean, if you're not familiar uh, with Pentagon Jr., look up the uh, Ultima Lucha match with Vampiro at uh, on Lucha Underground Season 1. That was just so crazy and brutal. Um, and that's kind of what, for me, is a good turning factor in a cage match, is you got to be able to out-violence your opponent because, I mean... If you're trying to escape the cage, perhaps, you're going to have to completely incapacitate your opponent, uh, even more so than you would Time. if you're trying to... Thomas Wolf, your 45-second opening statement starts now. Kurt Angle is a wrestling machine. This era, Kurt Angle, is just off of the ECW run just re-entering a SmackDown run where he took on Rey Mysterio, The Undertaker, and beat those men. Kurt Angle is a favorite in a cage match because he's been in so many cage matches. And sure, he has a mixed bag of win-loss records, but there's one thing that you can't dispute, and you cannot climb a cage with a broken ankle. Kurt Angle is a master submission wrestler, and he knows how to break his opponent down from his experience going all the way back to the Olympics, which he won with a broken freaking neck. How are you going to incapacitate this man to where he can't win a simple Time. cage match? All right. Well done, gentlemen. All right, we're going to up our time now. So we are going into the first questions. Oh. So you have one minute to... Answer the question, and then your opponent will have a 30-second rebuttal to your answer. So, since you did your opening statement first, Thomas Wolf, you will start question number one. All right. Now, steel cage match. Hard material. What makes Kurt Angle tough as steel? You have one minute starting now. Kurt Angle is tough as steel because his body has been tempered in steel. He has gone through cage matches, Hell in a Cell matches, which he won. He won the Armageddon Hell in a Cell against five of the best wrestlers that WWE had to offer. Well, maybe four and Rikishi. No offense to Rikishi, but come on. Um, he is 
He's been through it all. He's stood the test of time. And at this point in his career, as the wrestling machine, he was better than ever. This man has gone to war with all of the best wrestlers who have come from the Attitude Era. He's battled Stone Cold, The Rock, Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero, Triple H, The Undertaker, Kane on a few occasions. This man knows how to go in this type of environment better than almost anyone to come out of the WWE because he can take you to the mat, he can take you to the cage, he can wrestle you any way that you are weakest. Well done, sir. Alright, Kevin Hogg, 30 seconds. Why isn't Kurt Angle tough as steel? Your 30 seconds starts now. Uh, I just have to say, it's Kurt Angle's mentality. Uh, the way he almost acted like he was invincible. I kept going and kept going. His body was breaking down, and WWE was trying to get him to go home and rest and relax, uh, which is one of the reasons why he ended up leaving the company, is he didn't want to be forced into taking time off. Uh, and his body was accumulating a lot of different injuries at this point in time. Good point. This is gonna sound, quick. Yeah, this is going to sound really obvious, but 30 seconds is a lot shorter than a minute. <laughs> Almost like it's half as long or something. Almost. All right. <clears throat> I'm not not be good with fractions though. So. All right. Maybe two fourths. Now, Kevin Hawk, you exactly. have one minute to tell me why Pentagon Junior is tough as steel. Your one minute starts now. All right, Pentagon Junior, uh, Luchador, right off the bat. Uh, Immediately you have to think of how many times these guys jump off the top rope, how many times these guys crash and burn, how tough it, do they have to be, they have to be toughened up, and you know, something like that would make it so maybe falling off of a cage, getting pulled down off the side of a cage, or jumping off the top of the cage might not be as uh, aggravating to the body as somebody who's more of a mat wrestling technician, despite, you know, Kurt does have moments where he does moonsaults and stuff off of cages and usually misses. Um, but that, and then, you know, I feel like in Mexico, your body would be better conditioned because you're wrestling under much hotter weather. Uh, and, you know, you just don't get uh, as many of the luxuries as you do being a WWE superstar. So, tougher, both physically from the lucha style and, uh, you know, crashing and burning versus also Time. being tougher mentally. All right. Thomas Wolf, 30 seconds. Why isn't Pentagon Jr. tough as steel? Your 30 seconds start now. Uh, Ken Hawk mentioned that Kurt Angle, his mentality wore down his body. I would counter that the Lucha style wears down your body much faster than just a never stop mentality. He is someone who hasn't been tested like Kurt Angle has. He is someone who hasn't gone to war as many times as Kurt Angle. And I will always take the reliable veteran over the risky newcomer, especially in a dangerous match like a cage match where you can be pulled Time. off this. Right. Kevin Hawk, you will begin okay. question number two. What weakness of Kurt Angle is Pentagon Jr. going to exploit in this cage match? You have one minute and it starts now. Uh, I think the obvious would be Probably trying to figure out some way to uh, go back to the reoccurring neck injuries of Kurt Angle's career. Uh, on top of that, uh, you know, I feel like Pentagon would use his signature arm-breaking maneuver because, I mean, it might not be a Kurt Angle weakness, but if he makes a weakness, uh, just like he said that it'd be hard to climb a cage with a broken ankle, it'd also be much harder to climb a cage if you only had one arm to pull yourself up. Uh, that being said, yeah, I'd have to go back to the neck and one of Pentagon's signature maneuvers, a package pile driver, mm. is just key to the point of trying to drop somebody on their head and break down their spine. End yeah. of story. Alright. We'll uh, let this time limit run out here. And... There we go. Alright. Thomas Wolf, 
30 seconds, why isn't that going to help Kurt Angle in this match? Or, you mean Pentagon Jr.? Uh, yeah, Pentagon Jr. Yeah. Why, why? I'm not going to explain why that's not going to help Kurt Angle. <laughs> good. I, I did don't so paint yourself into a coin. Also, it's I, I pretty, pretty obvious job. why um, going after his neck won't help him. I yeah. think I need to it's true. say much there. Woo. 30 seconds as to why that's not going to help Pentagon Jr. 30 seconds starts now. You talk about the reoccurring neck injury. That's the same neck injury that he won the Olympic gold medals with. Kurt Angle is no stranger to pain, but he is the type of guy to fight through it every single time. A pile driver is the same finisher as The Undertaker, who Kurt Angle has made tap out. One of the very few men to make Undertaker tap out. Kurt Angle has done that. Kurt Angle has beaten The Undertaker. Kurt Angle has beaten people who target limbs. Kurt Angle can hit his Olympic slam with Time. one arm. And now, Thomas Wolf, your one minute. What weakness of Pentagon Jr. is Kurt Angle going to exploit? Your one minute starts now. Kurt Angle has battled luchadors. Eddie Guerrero counts. Rey Mysterio definitely counts. Kurt Angle's no stranger to this style. He's going to use that experience over Pentagon Jr. to avoid the high risk moves and take him to the mat where Pentagon Jr. won't be able to wrestle with Kurt Angle. I'm not saying Pentagon Jr. can't mat wrestle. I'm saying he can't mat wrestle a man who won the Olympic gold medals, who beat Brock Lesnar in a shoot wrestling match before a SmackDown taping. Kurt Angle knows the game inside and out. He knows every facet of the game in a way Pentagon Jr. has never experienced before. And this is going to be Pentagon Jr. having to step up to a whole new level in a whole new environment against a whole different type of superstar. It. Both of you guys stopped at the same exact time. You're <laughs> leaving yourselves about 12, 13 seconds left. So, all right. So we're gonna stop there. We got a couple <laughs> seconds before your rebuttal starts, Mr. Kevin Hawk. Uh, 30 seconds. Why isn't that going to be a problem for Pentagon Jr.? 30 seconds starts now. Um, I don't know. Kurt Angle would probably, in almost any situation, out wrestle Pentagon Jr. if it stayed completely mat based, but. Uh, you know, in that way, it's not gonna, it's the way to win the match. I mean, especially if someone's trying to escape a cage, it could be a pinfall or submission, but, you know, there's going to be distance separated no matter what. So, Kurt Angle's experience, and especially in the Matt Wrestling experience, is high. 30 seconds long. <laughs> <laughs> or a Blue Thunder Driver. Blue, blue Thunder Bomb. Blue Thunder Bomb. Driver. The Bobber. <laughs> Blue Thunder Driver. All right. Now you can tell which Final week, which question. Which is matched up with. Question number ahead. three. Kevin Hawk, you have one minute. This is a cage match. You got multiple ways of winning. What is Pentagon Jr.'s escape plan? You have one minute. It starts now. Um, well, I mean, escape plan. So escaping the cage is immediately uh, where I think he is better suited than Kurt Angle. Uh, I just think luchador style, he's used to climbing up the ropes, climbing with ladders. He's been in cage matches before, so he's not a stranger to being in cage matches. Uh, so I think the speed of the luchador style is definitely going to spring him up faster up the cage than Kurt Angle can go. And, uh, you know, especially if he's been, you know, trying to break Kurt Angle's arm or pile drive Kurt Angle onto his head. Uh, Kurt Angle's gonna slow down. Uh, I think, you know, maybe, it'd be a tough call to say who's better conditioned at this point. Uh, you know, I think Pentagon's younger, so that might go in his favor that he might be better conditioned. Uh, and that all adds up to being able to climb and get over the cage faster. Yeah. All right. Thomas Wolf, 30 seconds. Is that going to help Pentagon Jr.? 30 seconds starts now. Absolutely not. We have a Kurt Angle who was at the most violent and vicious of his career. He's, it's not just about wrestling Pentagon Jr. It's about dissecting Pentagon Jr. It's about teaching him not to step in the ring with Kurt Angle. He is going to break his ankle and then break his other ankle and then break his arms and then slam him into the cage. You want to break Kurt Angle's arm? Fine. He'll hit you with an Olympic slam one-armed into the cage, off the cage, through the cage, and then it's a time. time. All right, Thomas Wolf, your last chance. One minute. 
what is Kurt Angle's escape plan in this cage match? Your one minute starts now. Kurt Angle is very, very simple. Beat Pentagon till he can't move and escape the cage. Kevin Hawk mentioned that Kurt Angle does a moonsault off the top of the cage and often misses, but my counter argument is that your greatest teacher is your last mistake. Yes, Kurt Angle's made the mistake of going for the big spot and messing up. He knows not to do that again, especially against an apt luchador like Pentagon Jr. He's going to know what Pentagon Jr.'s weakness is and focus on that. Not go and try to out luchador the luchador. He's going to try to out wrestle the luchador and bring him break him apart to where Kurt Angle can escape the cage and secure the victory like he's done so many times in his career. It's the same mentality that earned him those gold medals, that earned him the WWE title, that led him to victory in, against so many of the greats. Kevin Hawk. So many of the great nuts. Kevin Hawk. Yes. Is that escape plan going to work for Kurt Angle? 30 seconds starts now. Absolutely not, because I've waited a second to bring this in, but Pentagon Jr., what's his slogan? Zero fear, if you translate it to English. Zero fear. So Pentagon Jr. is going to be able to throw himself at Kurt Angle, even after the point of being maybe broken where another man wouldn't be able to get up. Pentagon Jr.'s no fear attitude is just going to uh, maybe take Kurt Angle out of his current comfort zone. Time. All right. Well, I'm going to take... All left. Huh? Oh. No. If, you were, if you were going to write, I was going to left. Okay. I'm going to take a few moments to look over what has been said. Deliberation time. Uh, and see if I can decide a winner of this cage match. All right, we're back. Yeah, Blue Thunder Bomb. <laughs> uh, I have deliberately I've lo looked through both of your guys' arguments. Uh, this is definitely an interesting matchup we have here. Uh, I'd pay to watch it. Submission, submission specialist, uh, all-around technical wrestler, uh, comparing to the luchador style and the aggressiveness of Pentagon Jr. Uh, aggression is necessary in a match type like this. And yeah. after going through you know, all, both of you guys' arguments for all three questions, um, this is not the way I expect it to go. But I am giving the win and the championship Ooh. to Kevin Hawk. Yeah! yeah! Uh, I'm almost sad that we're not doing a three-way tiebreaker match. I I I wanted to I wanted do, to be able to beat you both at the same time. I, you know, I wanted to do it, but you know, I think uh, where where you where you really excelled uh, over the arguments is you know the, the the first one being uh, what what is the weakness going to be? He brought up the fact that you know Kurt Angle doing the moon salts yeah. are missing, and your your argument saying that he wouldn't do it. Well, he's done it so many times. Why wouldn't he do it again? It's 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 a Kurt Angle thing. You you can't you expect it to happen because he does continue to do it. And then I'm trying to shine this in the third class. in the in the third the uh, the escape plan. Ah fuck! This whole thing's falling apart. <laughs> Uh, the, the escape plan, I'm surprised you both went with escaping the cage. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't go with a submission victory oh. for Kurt Angle. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I, th I think the, uh, the o overall was that you're, the zero fear. You really, you, you had that, like, Pentagon Jr. is going to put his everything into this, and there's nothing that's going to stop him from doing more damage uh, whereas Kurt Angle, yeah, he's going to try and dissect, but if he's so focused on that, is he going to be able to combat that uh, no-nonsense, I'm just going to tear you apart style? So Pentagon Jr. wins the cage match, and Kevin Hawk yeah, is our phrases. first ever fantasy warfare champion. So, uh, uh, from, from this point on, uh, we're going to be doing just uh, different matchups. We're going to be doing... Uh, Contender, contender type matches uh, to decide who will face Kevin Hawk. For Potential his guest appearances. Yeah, uh, yeah there's yeah, going to be a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, guest appearances coming up. Uh, so, 
Uh, and be sure to check out all the other videos on this channel uh, on Reasonable Wrestling Fans. Uh, check yeah. out the Wrestling Rundown for all of your weekly reviews. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.